I said. <laughs> All of my life, I have been surrounded by people who feel they have to impose their earnest view of the world. This, this, this tidal wave of warm piss crashing down on me. Barbara, I, I said, in business, at least, there is a tangible measure of reality and achievement. And she says to me, chameleon, lizard, and I drop my prepared remarks, and I begin again. I'm not sure I have any more rationales left in me. When I dressed our saleswomen as nurses and put up billboards of doctors holding our baby formula, I knew what I was doing. We all did. Because we're trained that any action is justifiable if the results are profitable. And lately, I, I don't think I like that. I don't like being ashamed of myself. I don't like being ashamed of my industry. I don't like the way people look at me on airplanes when I tell them I'm in the baby formula business. I don't like having to lie about who I am. And I will tell you this, the vulgar subterfuge of my dismissal will linger always. You know, I came of age in hotels. I drew comfort from them, and when I fired people or made some sort of bad deal, I did it in a hotel. For some reason, in a hotel, nothing sticks. It's all transitional, and you're never left with the vital you, the vital self of a guy in his home. Right, Mom? Whatever that is. Watch. For a watch! And Barbara and I, lying back with the body, why did I ever go back to work? I always hated our product. Well, uh, Mother, the world is so large and so untamable, really. Who will ever know what one is responsible for in this world? When I, um, when I caught up with Barbara, I was at least, before she pushed me away, I was at least able to say I'm sorry.